Hey guys, this is my Yamaha Banshee. It's a 2006. And I am going to show you how to do a leak down test. I'll walk around it, show you what it looks like. I've had it for, uh, oh, probably five or six years, maybe seven. It's a little tight over here, but. So there you go. Uh, I do a leak down test on it about every other year. So it's been about two years since I've done the last one. But that is what this video is about. How to do a leak down test on your Banshee. This one's got the stock carburetors and um, of course you know it's I rejetted it for the pipes but other than that stock airbox stock carburetors and um, the first thing you got to do if you're going to do a leak down test is you got to get the the exhaust header pipe off and you've also got to get your carburetors off or at least out of the way because you're going to need access to the intake manifold and to the exhaust ports the spark plugs will stay in you don't have to take those out so once I get to that stage or to that point um, taking it apart I will uh, turn the camera back on all right so I'm back uh, I've gotten Everything taken off the Banshee in order to do a leak down test at this point. I have the exhaust off, the header pipes, I have the carburetors off. And I'm going to show you a kit that I sell on eBay. Um, and what comes in that kit, this would be for the stock Banshee. Uh, either 26 millimeter carburetors or 28 millimeter and um, what comes in the kit are two rubber exhaust block offs these go right over the exhaust ports you just tighten them down uh, this is a block off this would go into one of the intake manifold um, openings and then the gauge would go into the other intake manifold opening. And I've been selling these kits since probably 2011 or 2012. Uh, I've been selling them on and off eBay since then. Uh, I also used to sell them on Banshee HQ. And, uh, but Tyler over there, he, uh, he didn't really want me to sell them unless I wanted to pay royalties for it. So I kind of went my own way and started selling them on eBay at that point. You can see I got my Banshee HQ sticker on there still on my fuel tank. But anyway, what I'm going to do right now, oh, I also sell these leak down testers for all kinds of Banshee uh, modif modified bikes like uh, two into one carb uh, intake, um, larger carburetors, all the way up to 39 millimeter carbs. Um, I have like five different kits on eBay right now. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and install the uh, the parts here. Like I said, this this would just go right over the exhaust port. You just tighten it up. Same thing with the other side right there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, install these exhaust port block offs and then I will we'll also install the gauge and the, the block off for the other um, intake where the other carburetor would have gone 
and then I'll show you how to do a leak down test. It's it's actually really easy. Um, I also have a bottle of uh, this is just water with uh, oh about five or six pumps of Dawn dishwashing detergent put into it. <clears throat> the reason you want to do that is so it, um, if you do have a leak, it'll cause bubbles, a bubbling action. So let me go ahead and get this uh, these parts put on here, and then I'll go ahead and do a leak down test. I'll be right back. All right, so I got the uh, exhaust block offs over the uh, exhaust ports. You can see that right here. Both of them are uh, tight, pretty snug, but it's blocking off the exhaust. I've got the gauge in one of the intakes where one of the carburetors would have gone and I've got the block off in the other one right here. So there's your gauge. There's your block off. The only part that I didn't use on mine that does come in the kit is this uh, clamp. And the reason I don't need to use the clamp on my Banshee is I'm already using pretty heavy duty uh, clamps. These aren't the stock clamps. And this is what I use um, full time even with the carburetors connected. So that's why I didn't need to use that heavy duty of a clamp. So let's go ahead, let's put, uh, let's pump this up to six pounds, six or seven pounds of air. <clears throat> and we'll see how it does. Now this is one of the things I wanted to show you. My Banshee here has a stock air box. Um, and if you notice, it's going to be awfully hard to add air right where, you know, without taking that air box out. And I'm not going to take the air box out. I've got another way of doing this. So here's a little tip for you guys that do have a stock air box. If you don't want to take the air box out, because honestly, it's quite a hassle. With the uh, aftermarket pipes, you can see in there, I'd have to take the pipes out in order to get the, the, the air box out. You got these two bolts back here, and then this air box slides up, and then upward over, there's a rod that runs through here. So it's, so you gotta take the, the mid pipes on your exhaust out in order to get the box out. But I've got another way I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna take this, air hose right here feed it up through the air box and then I can uh, add the air that way so let's go ahead and pump this up you see I'm just fit oh another thing let me say this if you if you're if you if you're running shop air you better have a regulator if you're going to use your shop air to pump your Banshee up with air. Otherwise, you will blow your main, you will blow your crankshaft seals out. You know, I mean, you you really got to be careful. The best way to add air is with a bicycle pump or a hand pump. But like I said, I, I can regulate my air, so I'm not worried about it. So you can see I'm sticking it through here. Let's pump this up to six. There we go. Tap your gauge a little bit. I'm a hair over six. And that's good. I can already tell I'm in pretty good shape here. I'm not losing any air right now. 
Let's get a stopwatch going. The rule of thumb, and I've talked to many engine builders, the rule of thumb is you can lose up to one, hold on a second. Maybe it'd be better with this off. Yeah, that's better. You can lose up to one PSI of air per minute. Anything over that, you need to find your leaks. Uh, leaks can occur anywhere. It can, uh, it, can, uh, it can occur at your cool head. It can occur at your regular stock OEM head. It can occur around your intake manifolds where they connect up. It can occur at your head, your base gasket, your head gasket, studs, uh, case halves, um, behind the stator, behind the flywheel. It can happen behind your primary gear. There's a, um, there's a keyway. When you put your primary gear on, there's a keyway. And that keyway is a prime suspect for leaks. But honestly, guys, if you've got a slow leak, personally, I mean... It, unless you're, unless, you know, unless you're losing more than a pound per minute, I, I, I don't mess with it. And I haven't had any problems, but um, this is how you do an air, you know, a leak down test on your Yamaha, your Banshee. I do sell these kits. Um, and <clears throat> it's a darn good thing to uh, check you know, leak your bike down, make sure you're not, you know, you want all your air metered through your carburetors. Otherwise you just can't tune your bike properly. So this bike runs great. It's, uh, it's, it's a powerhouse to be honest with you. I love it. And, um, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a good bike. It doesn't even look like I'm gonna have to really use my, uh, huh. boy, that's solid. That's nice. Doesn't even look like I gotta use my soapy water, guys. I mean, but that's what you do. If you do, if you if you are leaking down, you get your you get your water out and you start spraying the engine. You you know spray it with your soapy water, and and guys. You got to really take your time when you're looking for these leaks. I mean, some of these leaks are really small and there's not a lot of volume of air in in this chamber right now. It's a very actually it's very little air that's, you know, fills the volume of the of the whole chamber here. So, but this is how you do a leak down test. It's real easy. It's not rocket science. You can lose uh, you can lose air through your through your cool head, through your domes, um, through your spark plugs. Uh, you could lose air on the leak down kit. Just you didn't snug the the parts in good enough. Your exhaust ports, you know where you put the caps on. If you don't snug them down properly, you could lose air right around there. So the leak down test is, is probably the most important test you can do on a two stroke machine. And it, 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 you really gotta take your time when you're doing it. It's, it's behind the compression test, it's the most important test if you wanna be able to tune your bike, you know, right, right, Class A, I mean, perfectly. And um, yeah, man, I'm not even gonna have to use my uh, my water here. This is excellent, man. I like that. I like this. I don't think it's dropped at all. But uh, you know, you run a six minute test. If you're not losing more than one psi per minute. It's really, you know, 
It's not that big of a deal. I mean, I've seen others say, you know, other things, but I have, I, look, I'm in my 50s. I've done this for a long time. I've owned, I've owned tons of bikes. And um, the engine builders I'm, I, I've talked to over the years, that's their rule of thumb. You can lose up to one PSI per minute on your leak down test. Now, you know, honestly, I'm a pretty kind of anal guy. If, if I got, if I'm losing, you know, a couple pounds in the six minute test, say two pounds, I'm probably going to look for those. I'm going to probably look for those leaks. I want to know where, where is it leaking at? But, um, we're about here. We're about done with this test, guys. And uh, I'm not going to... This video is already going to be long enough. So... Let me get my... Uh, Schrader valve tool here to let this air out. Well, there we go, guys. I mean, that, that's a solid, this is a solid bike, man. I mean, it, it's not losing any air. So I'm going to put this tool in here and let this air out. <coughs> there you go, guys. There's a, uh, there's how you do a leak down test. Um, I'm not saying that I, I, I've explained everything perfectly, but that's the general idea of your leak down test right there. Uh, you don't know me, but I'm sick. I've been sick for three or four days now. I'm not feeling real good, but I wanted to get a leak down test out on, uh, out where I'm selling these leak down testers and uh, I should have done this a long time ago but here it is so it's the same principle for all the different kits even a blaster you got one carburetor on a blaster and you got a a different type of exhaust uh, port um, on the blaster and it takes an internal expansion plug rubber expansion plug you put that in there tighten up the rubber expansion plug Put your piston down to the bottom dead center, stick your gauge in, pump it up to six or seven PSI, same test. It's, it's, it's just, it's a leak down test. It's not that big of a deal. It, it is a big deal, but it's not that hard to do. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Have a great day. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.